happy, happy, everyone, and lots of people watch out. Today's December 11th, third video log for today. I had to retake this, I thought it was the second video log because I'm talking a lot about different stuff. So anyway, guys, uh, I didn't want to take a break, I was talking about, it's like, it's like, uh, it's not the second video log, it's not the third video log, and I'm like five minutes in, and it's like, well, I don't know, guys, I don't know if I am, you know, third or second, so I had to check the camera, and this is, this is the third video log. I'm usually starting out the morning, it's kind of early, so, uh, you know, 7.15 in the morning, not a bad day, curtains closed, I don't care, didn't let my cat out yet, she's sitting on her kitty kitty. Okay. So she isn't scratching the door, so I might let her out. So, yeah, I think um, just recapping what I was talking about, I guess. Um, not worried about any woman in my life. I like I said, I'm not gay, guys. You know, I'm not going after uh, uh, what do you call it? transvestites. I do you know have my you know sometimes I know check out some women you know, they're usually younger than me you know because I'm old now I'm old I got some gray hairs here and there yes I do I got some gray I got like a gray strand here and a gray strand here and they got gray starting here and I got a few grays down here I don't have any gray hair which is good but it's starting and some of the ones you know I'm not into the beach whales like 400, 500 pounds. Some people think I, I'm into that. <laughs> I'm into old grandmas that are 80 years old or I'm into beach whales that are they're like five, 400, 500 pounds or even 300 something pounds. I mean, they look really huge. Some of them point out to me. <clears throat> I'm not into bone racks. No 100 pound, 90 pound bone racks. I'm not into that. I'm into, you know, the athletics. Good, you know, skinniness. But I'm um, not really into that either. I'm into the ones that, you know, they're, they are, you know, healthy, a little athletic. They got a little bit of meat on their bones. Not too chunky, not too chubby. But there's a good fair share of nice looking ladies, you know. I, I know I shouldn't, you know, it doesn't this sound, you know, sounds racist and stuff, but I mostly be looking at the native ones, the native ladies, females, whatever. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I should have just said the other way to see if my camera's actually going. Camera's going good, good. <coughs> I do check them out, you know, uh, do talk to them, do hang out and stuff, but not into any, any kind of relationship. Even there's people trying to hook me up with my sister's uh, friends and like no I don't care if they're even five years older than her and I don't care even ten years older than her I don't even care I, that's her friends I don't care not hitting on them not trying to kiss up on them not trying to get a piece I'm not going out there I'm trying to look for a piece you know and um you know paying for the stuff or whatever you know I just don't care I have learned to just learn to adapt to be alone in my life. And I'm alone in my life, you know, besides my cats. <clears throat> She's going to out the door now. I got lots of time, I was let her out the door now. Where were you guys here? So I was saying, you know, I do check them out, you know, I do have the interest in women and, you know, I'm not going to ask for it, I'm not going to pay for it, I'm not going to get a relationship to get it. A male, you know, I'm not your typical male. I am not your, I am not your typical male. I am not like any other males. I could. I used to say this to a lot of different women I was with, and a lot of different reasons why I'm not with them. It's either because their 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 ex boyfriends come back, or they they got a boyfriend, or their parents don't like me, or they don't like me because I don't have the money, or 
I don't uh, have uh, a car, I don't have a house, or I don't have a job, or, you know, they're saying that they're, with, they're going to be with me and not with anybody else, and then they have somebody else, and I find them eventually. And a lot of different reasons, you know, lying about the age, you know, stuff like that. Now, there's a lot of different reasons why to become exes. They are extra reason. If you're in a relationship with somebody, you don't have to talk about your ex. Some people was like, oh, well, you're acting like blah, blah, blah. Like the ex named the ex. Like, if you're going to talk about exes, you know, you're not going to be in a relationship that long. And I try not to talk about exes. Sometimes it comes up, but I wouldn't, what you call an open book. I, you know, talk about anything and everything. It's, you know, you guys can see on video everything, you know, I talk about. It's just there. I'm an open book. But there's many reasons why there's exes. Many reasons why I've had different relationships. And I had like a lot of different relationships. <coughs> I'd probably say 25% of ever no, I've slept with them. But I had even a lot of you know, times too. But like I said, I'm not your typical male. I'm not, you know, I'm not out there trying to get a piece. I'm not out there, you know, trying to make money. I'm not out there uh, feeling sorry for somebody or, you know, stuff like that. I just, I'm at the point in my life I just don't care for it. I mean, I don't need it. No, I don't need that piece. I don't need the companionship anymore. Well, there's friends for, like, for companionship, but not, you know, relationship-wise. I do have a small group of friends. Small. I think I did that in the other video. I did very small group of friends and very small group of family members actually talked to me and yes music started over again this is Lee and Natalie Nix Lee and Natalie Nix from St. Louis and their buddy Cody and whoever else that produces stuff Farpoint Flutes beautiful music I love using it for my background music so anyway um, <clears throat> I know I can dub this into my background and not have to worry about that but I like to have it coming off the speakers because sometimes I have it too loud or too low or just right and I think the very first video I did it was too loud because I was listening to some other stuff before and now it's just about right now um, so anyway like I said I don't care about a relationship I'm not, not whining complaining and I'm going to say the word B. Just learn to live my life alone. Deal with my depression. It's going to always be there. You know, it got so bad that it's just about, like, literally just about killed me. And a broken heart is a serious thing. If you're really deep into a relationship with somebody and you suffer from a broken heart, your heart really feels like it, it actually broke. Or breaking you really feel that it's called a heart attack or stroke it happens it happens to you know people who are the healthiest younger than me older than me my age whatever but when you suffer from a broken heart it is a feeling you actually it's like oh just suck it up and and get on with it and like just stop going on the past and like oh quit being a big baby like stuff like that if you if you're a person who has not been so deep very deep into a relationship like the point where you're in between true love and a soul, like a, like a soul connection. There's a very fine line between love, true love, and a soul connection. Very small lines between them. I was so deep in this relationship and then, bam. Just like that. When I put so much heart into it, became so depressed and I had been depressed. I know I talked about it before, but this explain to you guys that a heartbreak or a broken heart. Heartbroken is one word I think. Broken heart's one word. Heartbroken. Either or. It is serious. A lot of people have died, you know, that some people commit suicide too, but that's a different story than that. Like I said, I learned to adapt to my life. Remain alone, still depressed. Not very, very deep like I was one time. 
learning to take medication, learning to do some more stuff in my life, got new friends in my life, started weaning myself off the medication, like all medication, heart, arthritis, sleep pills, everything. So I'm not addicted to anything anymore. You know, I wish I had some, you know, some pain medication for my back, because my back's always going to be hurting. And every now and then, you know, I feel that heart, you know, stressing, you know, working out or, you know, on the bike, and the heart doesn't, it's not the same as it used to be then, you know. It's not that, you know, young teenage heart or the young uh, male heart that used to be strong. But I have had three heart attacks, many, many strokes, even heat strokes and stuff like that too. I have a few of those. But I'm lucky that I'm not deformed on one side. Not deformed, but some people who have a stroke that they side of their face, like, but there is, you know, a little bit on that. I mean, you guys can tell, like, I'm not always fluent and stuff like that. <coughs> I'm not always so active, so energetic, that I can't spit out a lot of things and mix up my words and I have to redo things. I'm, mit I'm missing bits and pieces of my past in my life and a lot of people come about in my life that I let go and moved on with my life and they pop in and say, hey, I'm so-and-so, blah, 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 blah. And my mind has, I'll say, I don't know how you could say that. My mind has blank spots that used to have something in there, like uh, memories and stuff. A lot of people I don't remember, some family members I don't remember, some things I don't remember in my life, and past life, and a lot of people are forgetting, and there's, maybe there's a reason why a lot of stuff in my life. But I learned to adapt and, you know, still try to exercise, eating better, fruits and veggies, more fruits and veggies, more fruits and veggies, less meats, and less, less garbage, and junk food, and sugar, and whatnot, you know. Trying to keep healthier, and I know, I know, I know. I, I'm still d disappointed that I'm around 200 pounds now. I was at 185, between 185 and 195. When I was at 185, I was like, yeah, go to my dad's, come back on 195. I'm just good, you know. 20 days go by, I'm at 185, and then come back to my dad's at 195. So then, you know, another time, you know, I got back to 185 and everything good. It's like come back to my dad's, I'm 200 pounds. I'm like, really? That's oh, because the bike crash, not on bike, and not always exercise, 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 and a lot of sitting around, and like even just sitting around doing now. But you know, I'm actually you know, walking around, and I would bike in the wintertime, but it's so cold out there. And I wish I could. I should get a face mask and actually bike around. But uh, things are tough on the bike too because the grease and the oil, you know, kind of uh, gets really cold. So it's harder to pump that bike and get that moving. It's like, I don't want to break no parts and I don't want things to break and freeze up and stuff, you know? But I'm at the end of this video now and I might as well wrap this up. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. My share this video on channel, my friend, for you, my friend, for me. Please, please tell your friends and family about me. Tell you in this video, tell me you guys watch it. Hope you all have a nice day, it's morning, night. I remember it's better to be average than Original.